Please save me. Save me from this bondage. Please, I'm dying. Isodo, please. Isodo. Isodo, I'll save you. Save me, please. I will. Save me. I'll, I'll save you. I will. Save me, mom. Please save me. I'm dying. Please. Isodo. Isodo. Please save me, please. I will save you. I will. That's a promise. I will. I will. out of his mouth. Afam. Level is okay. I think you are quickly getting back on your feet, Dad. So I can now eat whatever I want to eat and no more drugs, right? I know you want to eat everything. I know you want to taste everything. And I only know that you are fastly recovering because you want to eat all these things. But you have to stick to your medications. Hmm? Afam, he was supposed to save me from this sickness and not to kill me with more drugs and equally stop me from eating what I want to eat. I'm trying to save your dad. And the only way to make that happen is sticking to your medications. Hmm? <coughs> Sorry, Dad. You were dad. Hmm? I will see you when I get back. Probably get more drugs for you to take. <laughs> Dad. Yes. I used the X 
sad streak. You told me you used the map. Oh, you can say that again. <laughs> she was busy staring at me. Really? I'm telling you the truth, Dad. That's good. She was standing there looking directly into my eyes. Wonderful. Uh, you know what, son? I love you so much because you have learned a lot from me. I'm so proud of you. Those are tricks that will never fail any time, any day. I know that. Okay, so where exactly is she from? She's from Obioma Kingdom. What? Obioma Kingdom? She is the first daughter of the retired principal of Obioma Secondary School. Unfortunately, son, you cannot marry from Obioma Kingdom. Yes. Obioma Kingdom has been fighting with us for so many years now. We are enemies. They are our enemies. You cannot marry from there. I'm sorry, but that's the truth. Son? Afam? Oh, I got you there. I was only joking. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, yes. <laughs> Almost caught me that. Of course I did. <laughs> Don't play like that with me again. No, no. I, seriously, you can marry from anywhere you want. I, I, I was only joking. Seriously. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dad. Thank You're you. welcome. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> oh, so when am I going to see your girl? What am I going to see her? Once I propose to her, she says yes. I will bring her immediately. I can't wait, son. I can't wait. I know you can't. I know you oh. can't. <laughs> Thank you, I, I'm so proud of you. This man that hovering around this royal household. Phew. The great shrine of Mbabuwa shall be revisited. With every member of this royal family for cleansing. Oh! This palace shall be doomed. Your Majesty. And I'm quaking, ha ha
since we've been waiting for a settler to come back from Indonesia, so that we can commence with the burial arrangement of our late king. But until now, he is nowhere to be found. We can't continue to wait endlessly for someone that may not even make it back alive. So it is time for us to start the arrangement. Start what? I'm asking you, Zoma, to start what? And who told you that my son will not come back alive? Who told you that? Prince Zondo is the first son of the king. And he will return to commence with the arrangement of his father's... You lie! I said you lie! I am the first son of this family. Oh. And I am the one that's going to be the king. Whether you like it or not. I see. We cannot continue to wait for someone that is a long far in Indonesia. That we're not even sure that he's going to make it back alive. So, you people should adhere to what my mother is saying if you want the forward of this kingdom. Hmm. He's, a, he's an ex-convict. Hmm. So, Prince Izundo is in prison in a foreign land and I, you know, is hearing it for the first time. Oh no, my son had a little problem and will soon be released and be back to commence with his father's burial. <laughs> oh, no, don't be deceived. If you know the country we are talking about, almighty Indonesia, as far as I'm concerned, Izundu will never make it back here alive. Oh no, no, police in Indonesia are the ones in do. Talk more of the kind of crime he committed. Now when he pushed drug, all drug, Alright, so I advise that you people crown me the king. I mean, it's only son you are seeing here that is alive. That over my dead body, over my dead body, you churchy, will you succeed the king? Not why Prince Luzundo, my own son, is alive. And you in prison? Are. Oh, he's in prison. Over the draw, one I see. He, he can never make it back here alive. Oh. As far as I'm concerned, is that what you think? Let me tell you, that Prince Izundo is in prison. They locked him up. Does not make him a criminal. And he will be killed over there. So my son... Oh, you shut up! Oh, sit you down. Sit down! 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 Can't you feel my presence here? Now listen to me, my queen. We have waited so long for your son to come back. So we can bury the king. It's a shame that I, you know, who of this great kingdom is hearing for the first time that a prince of this kingdom is in a foreign land in prison. I give you one month, just one month, and if he doesn't come back, I and my cabinet members we bury the king in his absence. And then we shall proceed to crown his younger brother, king of this great kingdom. And then walk over there. I give you my word, Ono. My son, Prince Izundo, will be back. Don't shut up! Don't shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Let love unite us. Let peace surround us. Let joy reign. Destiny approves us. Oh no. Mommy, you need to calm down. Please. One family. Oh yeah. Oh but I need you go for you say calm down. You want me to calm down. 
when Uchechi is at the verge of taking the throne of Abagana from my son. From my son. You want me to calm down? Just like that? Just like that? Allow him to take the throne that belongs to my son. Oh. Now, this is too much. It's too much. I know. Definitely, I know it's bad. Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. I know it. I am sure if Afam is alive, he is not going to stay and watch them take what rightly belongs to his elder brother. He is going to fight and protect it. Oh, this is too bad. This is too bad. Too bad. Too bad. I know, mommy. But I don't want you to think towards that direction. Whatever Uchechi and his mother are planning can only work if Izundu is not back within a month. So we better start now and plan for his release. What have I not done? What? What have I not done? What have I not done to get him released? What? Oh. Mm. Mom, you've tried. Um, I heard Ogaz is back. Yes. He's back. I, I suggest you go see him. You know Ogaz is Izundu's best friend. Yes. And I know he can help. Yes. Yes. Ogaz. The one that lives in Indonesia. Exactly. Is back. Yes, Mommy. I think I have to see him right away. I think I have to see him right away. I'm coming. I'm coming. Look at him. My son has just one month to be back. Or he will lose the throne to his stepbrother. And I do not want that to happen. See, I want you to help me. Look out for your contacts, please. Do anything. Just name the price for him to get released. Please. Your Majesty, your son was caught with large quantity of cocaine. And you know the Indonesian government. They do not pardon those found with drugs. So what we should be concerned about right now is his safety and not the throne on who to ascend or not. Okay, hold on, hold on a bit. Come on, you've lived in Indonesia almost all your life. You, you have a lot of contact, you know a lot of people. All I want you to do is spread your net. Let your people involved, get them involved. I want you to get my son released. I do not want him to lose his right to that thing. That good for nothing boy. I do not want him to lose what is rightly his to that papa. No, not while I'm alive. Please, you need to help me. Please. Yes. Mom, okay, Your Majesty, I, I will see what I can do to that. You see, your son is my best friend. And I wouldn't want him to lose the throne. Not when Nogas is still alive. Thank you. Now you are talking. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh no, my prince. Our kingdom needs a king. We can't continue to wait for someone that can never, never, in fact, or do all the possible, no what? That Izundo will return to this country alive. How can you say a thing like this about your brother? Baburo, how can you say a thing like this about my brother? Do you even know the country I'm talking about? Indonesia. Do you know the kind of crime he committed? 
when the upper drum, upper a trailer load of drums, and the only way is to put him to death. He must go in for it. How can you say a thing like this about your brother? But overall, how can you say a thing like that about your brother? I'm telling you the fact. If you know this country we are talking about, is a no nonsense country. Talk more of pushing drug, hard drug. Nah, think of it now. So there is no need in wasting time in crowning me the king of Abagana. We need to plan on burying my father. Put that crown on my head. My prince, I think you should make more effort about your brother's release. Not asking me, you oh know. Remember, he is the only surviving stepbrother that you have. That should occupy your mind now than asking me, you oh know, of this kingdom to crown with a king. I know it will be very, very difficult. In fact, it won't be possible. But even though I need to try, I can't do that as an ordinary man. I need to be a king. There is what is called power of immunity. If you crown me the king, I will try, even though I know it's impossible. In fact, on now, on now, I fear you because he is as good as dead. He is not coming back here alive. You don't even know the country I'm talking about. Well, this my prince, pity. my prince, in few weeks from now, your brother should be back. And if he doesn't come back, I, who know who of this kingdom, will crown you the king. Because the throne of Abagara kingdom must not continue to be empty. And my king should not continue to be in that mortuary. Let love unite us. Let peace surround us. This room is doing everything. Eh? Why did you do that? He said we are not going to do anything except after the expiration of the one month he gave to my, my son. As if it doesn't come back, then there shall be a burial and a coronation. Oh, then my darling, we have to make specific and personal arrangements for your father's burial. And coronation of your brother. Don't worry your pretty head. The Izundu I know is not coming back here in the next 20 years. Trust me on that. Mother, he might be back sooner than we expect. Yes. What made you say that? Ogazi's sister told me everything. She told me that Izundu's mother came to their house, pleading with Ogazi to help them release Izundu. I know what that means. Ogazi and Izundu are best friends, and he would do everything within his powers to make sure that he's released. <laughs> and we don't want that. We don't want it. Princess, how sure are you on this? Shoma is my best friend. And she cannot lie to me. That woman thinks she has long legs. But I will tell her, I, Kunozoma, I have longer legs. Excuse me. Mother. I was told that Zundu's mother was here a few days back. Concerning her son, in prison. I understand that she wants you to help her with your contact to get him released. Is that true? Yes. You're correct. I do not want you to help her. 
Why? Do you realize you're talking about your elder brother? Hundred percent. Enlighten me more on this. Why don't you want me to help him? I mean, why don't you want me to help him get out from that deadly prison? Why? Because I want to become the next king of our bag and a kingdom. And if he shows up within one month, that dream will be tarnished. With all due respect, Prince Wuchechi, I don't know what your intentions are. But my intention is to make sure that my best friend, Prince Izundo, is being released from that prison. And now that her mother is fully involved in this, I will make sure that I get him out from that place. So I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Straight to business. You see, I understand quite well, all right, that Izundo is your best friend. And I'm equally making my way to be your best friend. I will give you the sum of 20 million naira to make sure he is not released from that prison. Majesty, I have contacted my lawyer in Jakarta. And guess what, Your Majesty? I bring good news to you. Yes. My lawyer told me, in fact, he confidently told me that he can get your son out from that deadly prison in 14 days. Wow, yes. That's nice. Then let's start with the process. Your Majesty, this, this is needed. He needs money. He needs money to finance the process. Okay, okay. Um, like how much are we talking about? Fifteen million naira. Fifteen million. Fifteen million naira. Yes. Fifteen million. You know, I just lost my husband and a son. Where am I going to? Bring such amount of money. Your Highness, and you do not want to lose another. And the throne of a Bagana kingdom. You don't want to lose it either. Your Majesty, you are royalty. Yes, you can borrow money from the bank. Yes, we are talking about life here. Life. Let us secure his life first before any other thing. I personally, Ogazi, I do not associate myself with these kind of things. But I'm doing this because of the relationship I have with Prince Uzundo. He's my best friend. And that is why I'm here today. I'll try. Your Majesty, let me remind you this. Remember, Jokowi Dodo. Do not pardon those that are found or caught with drop of cocaine. Talk more of large quantity of it. Your son was caught with this. He was found with cocaine. And if the matter happens to go to court, that man would not hesitate to kill your son. Yes. Uh, tell me, uh, tell me, who is Joko? Joko, Joko Widodo. Yeah, yes. Ah, the Majesty, that man is the president of Indonesia. He's a very powerful man. Your Majesty, please do all you can to make him out from that place. Please. Please save me. Save me from this bondage. Please, I'm dying. Isundu, please. Isundu. Isundu, I'll save you. Save me, please. I will. Save me. I'll, I'll save you, I will. Save me, mom. Please save me. I'm dying. Please. Isundu. Isundu. Please save me. Please. 
promise you, I will. That's a promise, I will. I will. But I can't afford four million naira. This car is a gift from my husband. If not for my present need, I wouldn't have thought of selling it. Give me four million naira and the car will be yours. I understand. But I don't have four million naira. But I can give you 3.5 million. Last. Just think about it. Cause destiny approves us Oh no I knew one day one far away Oh yeah Oh but dying in there You go for one people Mommy, what are you doing? Oh. I'm trying to bring out my expensive gold jewelries. Okay. To see if I'll sell them, add up to the one I have for your brother's freedom. Mommy. Mommy, you have sold your car. And now, your gold jewelries. Oh. Come on, Mommy. Mommy. Mommy, haven't you sold enough already? Hmm? <sighs> okay. Mommy. His son do is my only son. I know. I can sell anything, do anything, so that he will be back here. Yes. See, mommy, here's a check of 4.8 million naira. Add it to the one you have. Mommy, don't. Don't. Don't do this. Please. Don't do it, Mommy. It's okay. Thank you. Look at you. Thank you. Oh. Mommy, you don't need to thank me. You don't need to thank me. Isundo is my only brother. And I can do anything, I mean anything, to free him from that deadly prison. Not just the prison, but for him to come back here and take the throne of Abagana, which is rightly his. Yes. Yes. That is where he belongs, the throne. Start immediately. 
Your Majesty. I will send the money to him immediately. The lawyer told me that your son will be released in less than 14 days. You can trust me on that. Thank you. This will go a long way. <laughs> Izundu is my best friend. And I will do virtually anything, everything within my powers, to get him out from that prison. Thank you. You can count on me. <laughs> Always. Anytime. I beg to take my leave. All right. Oh, no. Once again, I say welcome. Thank you very much. Ichi. None. Thank you, my queen. Mm. Uh, yes, uh, my queen. We came to find out how far you've gone towards uh, Prince Isundu's release. Yes. Oh, oh, because the uh, burial of the king is fast approaching. <laughs> oh, that. My son will be back before the burial of his father. Oh. Yes. What you people should be telling me uh, is how far you've gone with the preparation of his coronation. Unfortunately, my queen, there is absolutely nothing we can do without the praise being around. Yes. Nothing. Prince Izundu will soon come back. Yes. It's okay. In that case, if there is anything you think or know can do towards the release of the prince, my queen, do not hesitate to let me know. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. But um, he's released. His release is secured. Is that right? We must be on our way. Yes. Uchechi, I heard Queen Honor is selling all her valuable properties, including her car, to pay off her son's release. Are you aware of that? Fully aware, mother. You know? And you're still here? That is because I have everything on lockdown. Uchechi, all our plans to make you king will be destroyed if that boy show back in this kingdom alive. Everything will go to ruin. Ah. Mother. Are you drinking? Look at me. Do not stress yourself for any reason. How? Mwabo. Is assuring you, Izundu will never return to this country alive. Or do not possible. Now you're talking like the boy I gave birth to. Mm -hmm. This is more like it. Now I can drink to that. No, you can. Cheers to that. Cheers. Uh huh. To the latest king in town. Mm -hmm. You promised me that my son will be back in 14 days. Today is the 11th day. I have three days to the deadline. What is going on? What is happening? I'm losing it. Your Majesty, the lawyer is still on it. I'm pretty sure he will come up with positive news before the end of today. He needs to. Yes, my son is about losing the throne. The throne. So I have to do something. It's a promise you made to me that my son will be released in 14 days. Eh? Listen, please. He needs to do something. Okay? I want his release to be secured. That's what I'm concerned about. Please. I will try, Your Majesty. I will do my best to make sure he is released. I will. Remember your promise. Sure, I will.
You chose a funeral date for the king in the absence of his first son. Why am I Seriously? I think you call first son. No, what is for son? Is that animal, place, or thing? Property. No, I am the first son. I'm the only surviving son of my father. So I have the right to choose a suitable date for his burial. Madam. Mogo. son's coronation comes immediately after the burial ceremony. I hope you have a good tailor. I will hasten your story so that you don't lose out in the coronation. Ciao! <laughs> Let love unite us Let peace surround We have really waited so long for your son to come back and bury his father, our king. But um, circumstances beyond our reach restrain him from coming back to bury the king. But that will not stop us from moving further with the burial arrangement of our king that has been in the mortuary for a very long time now. I, Ono of this kingdom, agree with the date Prince Uchechi has chosen for the burial of his father, who has been in the mortuary for a very long time. Thank you. Thank you very much. My son and I I'm almost done with the whole arrangement for the funeral ceremony. Would like you to fix a meeting with the other cabinet members. My son and I would like to speak further with them. It will be done. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, yes, Ogeze, you promised me. You promised me that my son would be released from the prison. Yes. But up to now, he's not yet back. And I've not even heard anything from the lawyer nor anybody. Tell me, Okase, what is, what is happening? What is really going on? Well, Your Majesty, I discussed with the lawyer yesterday. Oh, yes, yes. Go on, I'm listening. Your son has been sentenced to death. No! By hanging. Yes. And, Your Majesty, I, I am sorry. But he will be executed in the next 30 days. No! 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 You promised me! You promised me! You made a promise! No! Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, Wuchechi, can you hear me? Alright. I have done my part of the deal. I want my money immediately. Agent updates now. They just sentenced him. He's not dead yet. You get your money when he's dead. Listen. Listen to me. We both know he's been sentenced. And there is nothing will stop him from being killed. Yes. Nothing on earth will stop him from being slain by Indonesian government. You know why? Because Indonesian presidents do not pardon those that are found or caught with drop of cocaine. Yes. So please, I beg you again. I need my money. Young man, I don't like talking so much. Like I said, I need to get the news of his death with so much evidence before you get your balance. Besides, I heard you collected 15 million naira from the mother. 
You should be the one to balance me, you know. Listen to me. Listen, listen, listen to me. Do not provoke me. Uchechi, do not provoke me. Do I say? Do I say? Ask about me. Ask about me. If you come to America, I am number one. If you stroll down to Europe, I am number one. Nobody messes with me and goes squat free. Nobody. I have done a lot of business. And I've succeeded in it. Nobody jokes with my money. You don't know how I feed. You don't know how I do my business. Now listen, and listen very good. Do not end this call before I kill you. Really now? Is that what it is now? Listen to me! Listen to me when I'm talking. Don't talk. You know your mates. Whatever business I did with Zundu's mother is the business between both of us, not you. I have done that with her and I've gotten my pay. Now I want you to pay me my money. Do not joke with me. I repeat myself. My name is Ogaze. Ask about me in Indonesia. Even the president of Indonesia knows me. He comes to my house and wine with me. Do not joke with me. Wait, you made 30 million naira? From one family within a month, and you're still asking for more. Nah, no, Dad, you tell me. I need to confirm that he's dead. In fact, I need to see his cops before receiving any balance from me. And not that Morgan. Uchechi! 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 Just touch the tail of a tiger. Just touch the tail of Ogazi. Nonsense! Nonsense! This is the height of it. This is the height of it! Nonsense! This guy thinks he knows how to play games. I will tell him that I'm the game master. Okay, near one do bless, not quite long one now. Watch as he forget me now. Yo, yeah, what's up? <laughs> he thinks he's wise. We need to teach him that we are wiser. Delete him. He really think he is smart and he can use me and rubbish me after achieving his dirty aim and after making me to betray my best friend, Prince Wichichi. No. No. Liquid! Liquid! Boss! Liquid! Boss! Liquid! Boss! I want that idiot, that shenanigan, that nitwit, I want him dead. I am talking about Prince Wuchechi. Boss, you know liquid. Liquid never fell. The man is dead. Move it. My name is Ogazi. My name is Ogazi. Nobody messes with me and goes scot free. Nobody. Nobody messes with my money. I'm messing with my money! I was caught free! Nobody! 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 Nobody messes with my business and goes caught free! Nobody! Nobody! Thanks to death, and the execution is in death this time. Oh, dear, my name. 
You mean you've been going through all this and you never cared to tell me? Because I am confused. I am confused. I don't know who to go to, where to run. To. I don't even know what to do at the moment. You should have come to me. We'll be friends for over a decade. That's why I'm here. Yes. Because as you see me right now, I don't think I am capable of losing my husband, my two sons, even the throne of Abagana in a space of four months. I cannot. You need to help me. You need to. I'm losing it. Help me. Help me. I am losing it. Mm. I know someone who can solve your problem. You do? Destiny approves us. Oh no. I give one day, one far away. Oh yeah. Oh, but dying in there, you go for one people. Divides us. Oh no. Oh, no. Then we are wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Oh yeah. Oh, God, Stay. You will get your balance. First thing tomorrow morning. Straight to your account. No problem. Nice job. Thank you. Kaiwa can you go? You don't 
shadi hom to a hadi hom to a hadi hom kwam you can do shadi hom to a hadi hom to a hadi hom kwam I saw a young man in chains in the pool of his own blood crying and calling on you for rescue is in serious pain hey yes yes wise one he's my son my only surviving son Pikunyal Maka I want you to help me please I can stand the news of his death let it go living my life without him Biko in the great shrine of Udido, there is always a solution to every problem. I can bring back your son within two days. Hey, thank you. Thank you. That's exactly why I'm here. Oh? Bet. He has to pay the price with the remaining of his years on earth. Hey, hey, hey. Why is one? I don't understand. I want to sell silk on them. How? <laughs> He will mortgage his total life on earth for his freedom and to survive the things that are about to happen to him in a foreign world. That is how. Wise one, um, um, please, like, um, like, how many years uh, are you talking about? One year and six months after his release from prison. Hey, why is one? Hey, yes, uh, you mean you will bring my son back? And he will stay only a year and six months. Exactly. If I don't, he will die in a few days. Hey! Fight like a soldier, and victory is mine. I will never, never back down. It's a movie that what you do there is give a thing. How do you expect me to allow him to take my son? Just like that, he will bring him back, and after six months, he will take him. Or the possible, it's not possible because they will never learn one more They will take him. Not possible. I don't tell you that. Don't tell me that. I, in this game of tried, in this game of tried, it's gonna be dirty. It's gonna be tough But I never
And I will always want you to be careful in everything that you do. Stay out of crime and anything that will dent the royal image. Thank you, my father. My promise to stay out of crime. I promise to just go and do what I have come for. And I promise not to do anything that will dent the image of this royal household. I still maintain what I said earlier. You have everything you need here. You are the prince, the heir apparent to the throne of Abagana kingdom. Even if you do not wish to work for the rest of your life, you are not going to starve. So why traveling? My father the king here did not bring me up to depend on any man. I just want to go out there and work for myself, you know. You know like my age mates, earn some money of my own, establish, invest, and become uh, a good citizen. I promise not to do anything to bring shame to this family. All I need from all of you is just to put me in your prayers and I'll call home from time to time. I'll miss you, my darling sister. <laughs> Don't worry, eh? I'll keep in touch with you, okay? Promise. I promise. <laughs> I miss you, brother. I miss you, bro. Mm. Good. I miss you. <laughs> Daddy, it's <laughs> my son. <laughs> you take care of yourself, eh? I'll keep in touch. Okay. Bye. Bye. seen my mom in such condition before. She has refused to eat anything or say a word to anybody. I don't understand. Let me go and see her. Oh, I will appreciate that. I will. At least you can convince her to eat something. If Kay is not taking, she will starve herself to death. Please, worry not. I can handle it. Really? Just get her food ready. Oluchi, please come. Hurry up, Oluchi. Please, eh? Go and prepare my mommy's food. Hurry up, Oluchi. Go, 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 go. I don't need to ask you what is going on. Because I already know. But I want you to understand that the solution to all this problem lies in your hands. Why not consider what the native doctor said and save your only son? I will have the opportunity to see your son once more. Fear him, hug him, and make him even marry as many women as possible. And they will bear your grandchildren. You will not lose so many things apart from him. Finally, he will be buried in his father's land. As the king of Abagana kingdom. Your food will soon be served. I want you at least eat something.
Drop his clothes on the bones. Udido Udido Nkodi namba na horo mbanzi Oro ko si eme Udido Udido It is done. Go and prepare for your son's arrival. My son's arrival? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> to let me know I've been worried about you you don't need to be worried about me you also have your brother to be worried about please please let me worry about you first you're all that I have now I am not all that you have you also have your brother you should be worried about him listen go in there and make preparation for his arrival. But, mommy... Mommy, what about the execution? Nothing like that will happen. Your brother will soon come back. Okay, you have girlfriends. Don't you? Yes. A lot of them. Yes. Go in there, make preparation for all of them. I want them to come, so that your brother will get married and start giving me grandchildren. Go in there, make arrangements. Go, go, go. Mommy, okay, I'll yes. give you the best. Don't worry, mommy. I have a lot of them sexy ones. I'll give you the best. <laughs> Mom, there is something fishy about the sudden change of Inona's mood. Like, she suddenly started becoming happy and every little thing she would look out from her window as if she's expecting someone. There is nothing fishy about her, my daughter. It is not easy for a mother to lose two children and her husband within four months. She wouldn't even get to see the cause of her only son. It is heartbreaking. I'm here wishing that she doesn't survive it. Then why is she always looking out of her window? It's like a movie to her. She's wishing that her children will come back to her. Well, she better get used to the fact that her son is long gone and gone forever. If that should happen, her daughter will take good care of her. 
But in absence of that, let's worry about what tomorrow will bring. And that is the coronation. Exactly, Mom. All I want you to do is to relax your nerves and watch your son become the next king of Abagana. I can't wait to say that to my son. Hey, same here. <laughs> <laughs> A lot has really happened within a short period of time. And it has really caused a lot of problem. But all I know is that Prince Uchechi here must get married before we crown him king as the custom and tradition demands. Oh no. His coronation comes up tomorrow. So how do we handle that? Madam, it's something that we can simply handle. Your son here has to choose a maiden that he's going to spend the rest of his life with. Simple. You know, save yourself all that stress. I have one already. I have someone in my life already. You do? Yes, mother. Who is she? Oyinye, the daughter of Umbaru. What? Uchechi, I told you I don't like that girl. She's not good for you. She's not suitable to be a good wife to you. <laughs> but unfortunately, mom, I told you as well that she's the right one for me. <laughs> she is the one I love. She's the one I, I can settle with. No one else. <laughs> Finally showed up. Is my prince. What are you still doing here? Please, it's time for you to go out. Yeah? We can't keep the guests with this soul now. You can even hear the Wanderers' uh, 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 music through. They are outside there. 
You can hear them playing. They can't wait for so long. Hey, hey, hey. Please, please, you, you don't shout on me, alright? Tell whoever that I will join them when it's time, okay? Cancel the coronation. I've had a long flight and I'm exhausted. I can't be part of any activities now. I need to see my mother. in the prison and just return and cancel the coronation. Excuse me, sir. The information we received from your brother was that you were long dead. And uh, his mother was busy trying to cover him up because she never wanted the kingship of her kingdom to slip off her son's hands. So we waited for a very long time. But you didn't come back. We even gave your mother time that was exhausted. So we concluded for real that you were dead. So I and my cabinet members decided to crown your younger brother the king of Abagana kingdom uh, because uh, the throne of Abagana kingdom should not be left empty. Where is my brother? Officers, arrest this fool. He's a criminal, a fugitive, and an ex-convict. You are under arrest. Nobody. Arrest him. And I repeat, nobody arrests anybody in the palace of Abagana Kingdom. Why? Nobody. Talk more of the proposed king of this kingdom. It is not done. I. I am the proposed king of this kingdom. Therefore, they will take orders from me. Officers, arrest this muggle or anyone that dares to stop you. Stand up! Get him! Get him, my friend. Uchichi. Nobody ever arrests me and goes scot free. And as for the throne of this kingdom, you and your generations unborn will never sit on it because you were not born to be king. Officer, move it. Move. 
Mogo. Mogo. Let me see how you and your generations will serve from that prison. I will make sure you spend the rest of your miserable life in that prison. Muggles. Nonsense. What are you looking at? I can get out of this palace. You. You see, royal matters are not settled in the police station or anywhere outside the palace. Um, please. Release the prince for us so that we can go home and settle whatever dispute he has with his brother. Dibio, you and I know that this is a civil matter and could be settled at home. Release the prince. I understand everything you said, Uno. We will release the prince to you so that you can go home and settle the matter. That is why I said that the police are your friends. But well, they will not understand. Thank you yes, very much. Indeed, the police are your friends. Yeah, At the appropriate time, I will come and appreciate okay, you. Okay. Yeah, well, thank you very much. That is a token of appreciation. For serving me relentlessly. Especially now that we have an intruder in our midst. I do not want you to take order from anyone except me. If you try it, I won't only skin you alive. I will have your corpse thrown to the vultures. You know that locking a man like me up in a prison in my father's land after spending years in prison abroad cannot break me down. I never wanted to break you down. I just wanted to put you to where you rightfully belong. You belong in the prison and not in the palace. And that is where you would definitely go back to. What is this demon that has come over you to the point that you cannot even offer your brother a warm embrace? <laughs> embrace key you there. Listen, Izundu, I can do anything possible to make sure that no one sits on that throne which rightfully belongs to me. Not when I'm still alive. I am the first son of my father, the king. I don't know what madness has gotten into you to the point that you actually think you'll be coronated when the first son is still alive. You're making a mistake, man. No. No, Higgles. You are the one making a mistake. You are not the first son of my father. The throne of Abagana belongs to me. A criminal. An ex-convict, a drug dealer, can never rule me, not when I'm still alive. I 
And you are not afraid what a criminal, uh, an ex-convict, kind of drug dealer can do to you, huh? Afraid of you? <laughs> no. Afraid of you, Zundo. I can never be afraid of you. I am going to fix another date for my coronation. All right? And if you try to do anything funny, I want to walk a javelin. You hear? You will be mummified. I hope I am invited to your coronation. Hell no. I don't invite S. Convid for my coronation. You don't deem fit to come for that. <laughs> my brother. Get your hands <laughs> off me. Incoming king, you. <laughs> I'm here to let you know that I have finally decided to fix another date for my coronation. So as a reputable member of the cabinet of our dear kingdom as a mark of respect I give you this this is a token to I don't know what you want to do with it but use it to support yourself but this is to make sure that you back me up on the D-Day but my prince there you is no bot and where any bot for any reason? I Kotale Mo Mwaju Gunaya. I will personally make sure that you disappear from the face of the earth. If you abscond from my coronation. One name why Awa and you big as we fight for Nanya. One mbagi Champions League in EC. Me finger bagi. Home and away. Please you teach. Bumogo. Take this money. <coughs> My prince. Believe me. I will never miss out in the coronation. Kediva in the kuziva. Iburugeze no. Iburugwe no no. You are already my king. I will do everything within my reach to make sure you sit on that throne. Yes. Efoge, Ibu guy man elder. In fact, I'm a fan And I'm happy to do things with people like you. That is what I'm talking about. I have this. All this for me. <laughs> this is a token compared to what you stand to gain mm. when I ascend the throne. One day, I will shock you. Nchiez, nge Diego Piago Talemo. Na one day, Nchiez, nge Diego Piago Talemo. One day, Nchiez. <laughs> My prince, I will forever be indebted to you. Um, at least with this money, I cannot take my sick daughter to the hospital. You have just saved her life. Thank you very much. Oh. And 
I will fight with all the blood in my vein to ensure that you secure your dream of ruling this kingdom. Thank you, my prince. <laughs> I'm very grateful. That is quite impressive, Chief Madoka. If okay, Yenge Diego Megi Amandema. Hello. I will give you more money. Thank you. You see, as long as you decide to keep to your promise of making me achieve my dreams, of sitting on that throne which rightfully belongs to me, forget the rest. As a matter of fact, this money is meant to be for my coronation. Okay. But you can keep it for your daughter. Thank you very much. If it's not enough, call on me. I will get you more. <laughs> I will Madrid. also send my guards to bring money for the coronation. Start with the process immediately. You don't have time. I take my leave. Oh, thank you. I cannot sell my soul to slavery and bring shame to my family and to my own self because of money. I am no longer a child. I am fully aware that Izundu is the first son of King Gifekandu and he is the heir apparent to the throne of Abagana Kingdom. He should be the king and not you. If I get you right, you are suggesting that a criminal, an ex-convict, should be allowed to rule this, our great kingdom, where a capable prince like me is available to sit on the throne. Is that what you mean? My prince, you people said that he is an ex-convict. Ah, uh, we did not see it. We only heard that he was in prison in a foreign land. I personally, I did not see it. And it don't expect me at this age to believe whatever I hear. Izundu is the heir apparent to the throne of Abagana kingdom. And he should sit on that throne to rule his people. And not you. Whosoever is pushing you to contest for this. He's trying to kill you. Um, I'm sorry, my prince. I cannot take this bribe. If okay, Ibu Mogo, I will shock you. He went to all the houses of the cabinet members yes. with parcel of money. He threatens to make Ono disappear if he fails to crown him the king. Ichi Enkanu, this is serious. Very, very serious. This is serious and it's getting out of hand. Ichi Enkanu, we need to do something urgently about it. Well, um... You're right. I think I know what to do. Um, but equally, I don't want to disappear. I, I don't like taking bribe. Huh? Disappear? Because the thing is... Which one is disappear? I, 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 I don't like you hearing you people talking like this. Talking like women. Disappear. Who 
is going to make you disappear? Listen, nobody is going to disappear. If the needful is properly done, nobody will disappear. Ah. I think you are right. Let me go and fix up things. Eh? <laughs> that is what and, I want to hear and, from uh, you. We'll, we'll see tomorrow. My prince, he came to my house this morning with a parcel of money. And he had already gone to the house of all the cabinet members with parcels of money. You won't believe it. He had already picked a date for his coronation. And he wants me or no to crown him the king. And if I don't, he's going to make me disappear. My king, I don't want to disappear. This land of Abagana will kill me. If I crown him king when my prince is still alive and you are present, please. My prince, I don't want to, to disappear. Oh no, you will not disappear. I promise you that. In that case, we'll be having a meeting tomorrow. Try as much as you can to be in that meeting so that we can sort these things out. All right, I will. I will attend the meeting. Good. And thank you for doing what is right. Good. I shall take my leave now. Coming back home to the absence of my brother and my father is enough to bother me. Coupled with the fact that my stepbrother goes around the village throwing money and bribing the elders just so he can be coronated. He's doing what? You heard me. But I am sure I know what to do about that. Oh, that's okay. I think the, the right thing to do now is you get a wife, pick any maiden of your choice, get married to her, and start giving me grandchildren. You know you can marry as many women as you want. Then after that we can fight for the throne. I found one already, mother. You do? Yes. We met her brother and I'm sure you like her. Oh, I see. Whatever you like is okay by me. All you need to do is invite her to the palace. Let's get familiar. Maybe from there we'll plan get to her place and pay her bride price. Yes. Yes, I have intentions of doing that. That's why we came back together. <laughs> you are too much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Mom. Thank you. I'll invite her over. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Let me go in and continue with what I was doing. Correct. I'll be in soon. In the absence of love, is distraction. But in the midst of love, the joy is abundant. Oh no. My love. Yes, darling. I spoke to my mom about you and she cannot wait to meet you. Are you for real? Yes. Wow, what a coincidence. <laughs> I also spoke to my mom about you and she too can't wait to meet you. Really? Yes. Now the problem is who do we go see first? No, my mom. Because I told you first. So we'll meet my mom after my prayers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you win then. We yeah. go see her this evening. Is that okay by you? So soon? 
Of course. I can't wait to make you mine and take you out. <laughs> and, and I can't wait to make you mine too, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, sweetie. I will see you later. Alright, dear. Take care of yourself. Alright. Cool. <laughs> Alright. to see this young man that has finally swept you off your feet. <laughs> Mommy, please stop. Okay, fine. Don't worry yourself. You will see him in the evening. So after turning down the heads of all the suitors that seek your hand in marriage, this one finally hit the spot in your heart. <laughs> there must be something about him. Of course, Mommy. There is something special about him. You are yet to find that, but you will definitely find out. Don't worry, he'll be here by evening. You'll get to meet him. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, you'll see him in the evening. I promise you that. Of course I will. Yes. <laughs> you me. You're welcome, my love. Come in. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. You have a nice place here. Thank you very much. So how is your father and your mother? My father is alright, but he's not at home at the moment. He went to settle land this kid at actual kingdom. When he'll soon be back. Meanwhile, let me come in more. Be seated, please. Thank you. Oh. Hi, mommy. Oh. Mommy, my you. Greetings, your majesty. Mom, meet my the man I've always told you about. Izundu. Yes. What are you doing with my daughter? Um <laughs> we've seen each other. She's she's my fiance. Impossible. Mommy. Over my dead body will you marry my daughter? Mommy. I will never allow that to happen. Not my daughter or anybody related to me. Mommy, what are you saying? I don't want to see you anywhere close to this kingdom. Or even my daughter. Mommy! Mommy! Uh, baby, what, what's happening? Uh, do you know my mom? Have you met her? Oh, please. My love, wait. Oh, my God. Wait, wait. Mommy, why would you do that? Why would you embarrass my visitor? Why would you? My daughter, you will not understand. And you will never understand. Okay, make me understand. I am willing to understand. What did you? You will never marry that boy. Mommy, what are you, what are you telling me? He is the one I'm in love with. I love him with everything in me. I love him so much. I'd rather die than live without him. It's not possible, Mommy. I love him so much. I can die if I'm not with him, please. My daughter, you will never die. But you can't marry him. And I will not want you to go anywhere close to that boy again. But why, mommy? Why are you doing this to me? You are my mother. You have always wanted the best for me as your daughter. So why are you not the one causing me pains? Why are you taking my happiness away from me, mother? Why? I want your happiness as my only daughter. 
That is why I insist that you will not marry that man. Mommy, don't I even dream of it. Mommy, I must! I must! I must! I must! I must! I must! Oh, Mommy, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry I yelled at you. I'm sorry. Mommy, please have mercy on me. I am just in love, okay? Please, have mercy. 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 Mommy, talk to me. anything to Norma's mother because I'm sure I did it. No. And no one did. I guess she's angry because she doesn't want you to marry her daughter. Why? I do not know why. And I will advise you both stay out of it until I get to the root of it. I don't care. I'm not going to stay away from the woman I love simply because of whatever issue you have with her. I'm going ahead to get married to her whether you like it or not. With or without your consent. Mommy. Mommy, what is happening? I thought Queen Ingozi is your best friend. Why would she ask Izundu? Does she put in great effort to make sure he came back, not to marry her only daughter? What is happening, Mom? You are my only child and equally my only source of happiness. I will never stand in your way of happiness or even dream of stopping any good thing that is coming your way. But one thing I want you to know is this. Prince Izundu is one person I will never allow to marry you, not even in my grave. Prepare your mind to live without him. Because anything you are planning with him is null and void. With due respect, mother. But I'm telling you to your face that you do not have any right whatsoever to choose a life partner for me. You don't! What are we talking about, mother? I am old enough to choose a man I want to marry. And I've chosen Prince Izundu. He's the man I'm going to spend the rest of my life with, whether you like it or not. I am your mother. And I am in the position to choose who will marry you. Makana Oko, Hada Kony Kolia. Really? 
really not see them. I greet you all and thank you for coming. You see, it's high time we changed the pattern of selecting a king in our family. I can never sit back and watch a common criminal, an ex-convict, Onyori Enwero Street Cred. I can never watch him sit on the sacred throne of Abagana, or the possible. What happens to the reputation of our kingdom? So I suggest that we should have everything. <laughs> I have got the notes, and uh, I think the procedure is right. Oh, ho! Oh. Oh, no, I, I need to put your dick on my phone. And, uh, you know, kings are idols. They are someone that people, especially the younger ones, Role models. Role models. I don't want to be ruled by a drug addict and an ex-convict. How can I be proud of being outside this kingdom knowing that my king was once and is still a criminal? Let me check out. Keep quiet. Keep quiet there. If you have nothing to say here, keep quiet! Uh, ah, sorry, now. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Have you seen Prince Izundu dealing on drugs? Or have you seen him stealing from other people's stores? What is this you people are saying here? All these allegations are just lies. We cannot prove it. And listen, I, Ichie Ibezimu, I can never be part of any conversation that will support a younger brother agitating to be made a king. Why the elder brother is still alive and healthy? On a brother for Judas, this guy, what about Listen, what are the good news of the Taiwan? It is not done! So, so, so you don't have good paper? No, no, you don't read papers. You're asking where? <laughs> okay. Yes. In some cases, oh, tell him, we cannot impose someone on us who is not qualified and eligible to rule this kingdom simply because of this bracket. We should be thinking of the way forward eh? and not to be thinking of who is older and who is young. Right now, we should be thinking is to vote or select Someone who will rule this our great kingdom of Abad. <laughs> <laughs> My fellow elders. Umwazi Makono may quake Guaja or Galanyuano. Umwalo Kwanifemi Bri, maybe I think we should go home and ponder on this. And then come back in the next meeting and plan for a way of selecting a new king for Abagana Kingdom. For now, this meeting is over.
Greetings, Your Majesty. I remember wanting you not to step your foot into this kingdom again. What are you doing here? Your Majesty, I'm sorry, but I have come to see my fiancé, please. Could you let her know I'm here? Today I will give you the last respect because you are royalty. Next time I will see you anywhere around in this kingdom, I will have you killed and your body cremated. Now get out of this palace. Your Majesty, I'm sorry, but what have I done to deserve this? That's hatred. If there's anything I have done wrong in any way, why don't you just let me know so I'll apologize? Why treat me in this manner? Why prevent me from getting married to the only woman my heart beats for? You will never marry her. Because that your heart will never beat for What is the meaning of this? Why? Sorry, please, could you please um, help me tell the princess that I'm here to see her? Oh, yeah. When hate divides us. Oh, no. Then we awake up. Wake up. But when love unites Oh yeah We will be stronger Stronger I Fear you will lose the throne and the love of your life if you do not do something fast. So what do you suggest I do? My prince, money is the only thing that can solve this problem right now. And you think I don't know that? My prince, I know you do. But my fear is that you do not know how to go about it. Of course I don't. Do you? Yes, my prince. My prince, I have somewhere I can take you to. And you can borrow any amount of money you want in this world. And you can pay back whenever you want to. Are you sure about this? Yes, my prince. I am very sure. Okay, you'll, you'll take me there. All right, my prince, I will. Do not worry about anything. When hate divides us, oh no. Then we are wake up, wake up, wake up, oh yeah. But when love unites. We will be stronger, stronger, stronger. Uh, I will get it. 
for second place where I'm going to borrow the money? Yes, my prince. Um, but we just have to park here. We can't drive further than this. The other parts are not motorable. My prince, the journey has just begun. Follow me. Nobody comes to the great shrine of Ayolo and goes home empty-handed. And what do you seek from Ayolo? I have come to borrow money. Ayolo is willing to give to you whatever you seek. But you must be willing to pay back that you promised and when to pay back. And when will you pay back to Ayolo? I will pay back in a year and six months. Your demands from the great Ayolo will be granted. You must keep a collateral for the great Ayolo to keep forever. I don't have a collateral to keep and that is why I have come to borrow in the first place. Look around. All these cars, money, dead bodies, they all belong to people that couldn't pay back Ayolo as I went to. You must give something to Ayolo for him to release whatever it is you want. And if you fail to pay back, all this you use as collateral automatically belongs to him. I cannot remember telling you I wanted to borrow money from the graveyard. Did you see the dead bodies there? Is that how you want me to end up? No, my prince. Those are dead bodies of people used as collateral from people that has failed to meet up their deadlines but i know my prince you will meet up i don't have anybody to use as collateral in fact i'm not going back there again come take me out of here now are you still there my prince
What's happening here? No one. It was a muku. It had falls. I am entertaining my cabinet members. That is one thing father never did when he was alive. What did you need him, Mama? What did you need him, Mama? What did Get into the car and take me to the Shrine of Wealth. Yes, my friends. The clothes of any of your blood relation that you would like to use as a collateral. Only then can you be eligible to get what you seek from the shrine of Ayolu, the greatest god of wealth and treasures. Ayolo! 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 Drop the cloth before a great mother, Ayolo. From this minute to the exact day that makes it twelve months. If you don't return whatsoever you took from this shrine, then the great Ayolo will take your collector and keep it forever. I've had wise. I also want to take the cars. Take whatever thing you wish to have from this shrine. But remember, you must return it the exact day you promised, or your collateral will become ours. Put me on the thrones of my fathers, give me salute like a ruler, give me respect like a leader. Is it impossible? Is it too much to ask? Oh yeah, oh na na mm. I am running this race like a winner Fighting this fight like a soldier And victory is mine I will never, never back down In this game of trust in the 
this game of turn Someone will win and someone will lose But I will never back down to inform you that I have finally fixed the date for the coronation. For the coronation? Yes, that That's is wonderful. Um, I want you to hold on the fourth uh, for market day from today. Yeah. So I want you to be prepared in body and soul <laughs> and tell everybody involved to come along. Already. My son, let me quickly say this. I am stupidly prepared. I trust you. I'm for <laughs> you all the way. I trust you. See, ndi ibo si. Onye ji water. We niya kenu. 
akafobi o for mekini o weda ti ade azo eza azo anya gara po mena no me bo mena no my friend <laughs> my friend <laughs> I will take care of every expenses like I told you. Every single dime to be spent on this will come from my pocket. Do not bother to levy anybody, okay? Okay. I'll keep you posted. I have to take my leave now, okay? I'll bring you good tidings abiding. I was gone, but now I returned. There will never be a royal subjugation. There will never be a royal surrender. Each year I was actually going to your house before I met you alone. Ah, really? Yes. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Uh, we thank God that you're back. <laughs> this is what I've been praying for. And uh, God has brought you back. Uh, you see, you have the same soft heart like your father. And that is why I want to promise you that nothing will stop you from sitting on the throne of Abagana Kingdom. Yes. Thank you so much, Ichie. I really appreciate your support and that of all those other elders rallying around for me. I value this and I promise I am going to compensate all of you. I'm going to make you happy for standing upon the truth. No problem, my prince. Thank you so much. I appreciate prince, that. All right. I'll come to your house later. I can see you're going somewhere. I'll come later yes, yes. to show my appreciation in a very formal way. Meanwhile, I need to run along now because I have a lot of people to visit. It's all right. All right. My prince. No. You have a guest. Oh, hi. <laughs> she is the only daughter of Professor Madden. Oh. She's a pharmacist. Wow. Hard working. <laughs> and as you can see, very beautiful. Indeed she is. I know she's going to make a good win. <laughs> Mom, I've told you this countless times that I do not want to make the same mistake my father made. I don't want to get married to two women. That's not what I'm asking you. I am not telling you to get married to two women. I am only asking you to pick her as your first wife. I already chose a wife and you know that. When Ngozi will never allow you to marry her daughter. Never. Why? I do not know why. But I always know her as a woman of her words. Mom, there is something both of you are not telling me. I don't know what it is. Just so you know, there's nothing you would do that will make me not get married to Princess Noma. And that's final. And I'm sure you know I'm a man of my words too. See you when I'm back. The Katrina to Lakamale The Katrina to Lakamale The Katrina
country not to. Wakamale, the country not to. Your wish has been granted to the needful and the great author of Katrenatu will surprise you with wealth, fame and protections. Thank you, great grand master. My sacrifice will be presented as soon as possible. Remember, your last sacrifice wasn't from your mother's womb. The great author of Katrinatu wants to test blood from your own mother's womb. Wise one, I really don't understand. <laughs> The great Katrinatu wants to test blood from your mother's womb. And the time for the sacrifice starts now. Respect my choice. You should consider what I want for myself. It's my life. I am the one that is going to live with this man for the rest of my life and not you. Okay, what's the essence giving me a man that I do not love? Which other man are you going to bring for me now that is more handsome, richer, and even humble like the man I already have? Please my understand daughter, me. My you made a wrong choice. Mother Prince is not a wrong choice. He's a very wrong choice. He's not. You... My queen, what exactly have I done wrong to you that you would not let the princess and I be? It's not about what you did wrong, but what is going to go wrong. I will never allow you marry my daughter. Stay away from my daughter. Not even your persistence will lure me into allowing you marry my only daughter. My only child. Now, out of this place. Hey, listen, I haven't come here to bargain with you anymore, okay? I've only come here to tell her father that come the next aftermarket day, I'm coming to pay her bride price, and that is it. That will never happen. And you will never disturb my husband with such a bad news. My darling. Me. Please do remember to tell your father about this. Yeah, I'll yeah. see you on that for market. All right. Stop that! <laughs> see your baby. All right, darling. Mummy, can't you see? Eh? We are meant for each other. Shut up. That will never happen. Izuduk will never marry you. you Over my dead body! I said shut up! I am mother! I am your mother! If you don't want to tell it to father, I will do that. No, come back here. No, in this game of turn in this game of turn someone will win and someone will lose but i will never back down In this game of turn, in this 
this game of turn It's gonna be dirty, it's gonna be tough But I never surrender It's gonna be bad But I never surrender that you've chosen to destroy my life, mother. What have I done to you? What have we done to you? Why have you chosen to take my happiness away from me, mother? What have I done wrong? Why do you hate us so much? Tell me. Look, I, I, I do not hate you. I do not hate any of you. You don't you hate me? Lower the gods. I will not. And don't tell me to lower the gun. I will not until you tell me what I have done wrong to you. Until you tell me why you've chosen to take my happiness away from me. Start talking. I will tell you everything. Lower the gun, please. Lower the gun. Mother, I mother, I am everything. not joking. I will tell you everything. I, will I am not joking. Lower the gun. You have to start talking now. I will pull the trigger. And I mean every word of it. No, no, please, no. Lower the gun. Lower the gun. You better start talking now because I am already carrying his child. Yes. Yes, I am carrying his child. Yes, I am pregnant for the man I love so much. You better start talking. I am carrying his child. Talk to me, mother. Talk to me. I will pull the trigger. Wakamale! Hey, Katrina, too. Wakamale! Lakamale Vikatrinatu Lakamale Vikatrinatu Drop your sacrifice on the altar of Katrinatu
Who is Izundo? He's my stepbrother. Is he the chosen one now? That which you have given cannot be used as a sacrifice. Why? Because she is used as a collateral in the sacred shrine of Ayolo. Therefore, no shrine, no altar can touch her until something is done. Who used her as a collateral? Isn't the date? What? She will die, and her corpse will be taken to the sacred altar of Ayolo. If the debt is not paid after a year and six months. And remember, it is time for you to give a suitable sacrifice, else you die. And that starts now. Wise one. I don't have any other sacrifice to offer. She's the only sister I have. Then, prepare your mother for the sacrifice. Isn't it high time you told the truth? Go ahead. Tell me that you have only 18 months to live on earth. What are you talking about? What do you mean, what am I talking about? All you ever wanted was to marry me, get me pregnant and die after a few months that your mother mortgaged you in the shrine of Udido and make me a widow. At this early stage of my life, what kind of a terrible man are you? Now I know better. Now I know why my mother never wanted you around me and insisted that I never get married to you. What exactly are you talking about? Oh, you're pretending not to know about it. Well, that question should be directed to your mother if you're confused. What, what have you done to my life? Listen. It is over between us. No, no, see, I... no, no, don't tell me anything. I am no longer interested in this relationship. I cannot marry a walking dead. And not even your baby in my womb will ever make me change my mind. Excuse me. No, ma. How did I get out of prison in Jakarta? I should be asking you that because I wasn't in Jakarta when you were released. But you masterminded the whole thing from the shrine of Ududo here. Where you mortgaged my life for my release. Agreeing that I live only 18 months on earth before dying. Why? Tell me, what other decision have you taken about my life that I'm not aware of? I took the decision because that was the best choice. I can't live with the thought of losing two children and my husband 
within a space of four months. I was told that you were going to die within a month and your corpse seized uh, by the Indonesian government. Yes, and any good mother would take the same decision that I took. Listen, I will advise you right now to take as many wives as you can. Start giving me grandchildren so that they will take off from your lineage when you must have gone. Mother, I did not ask you to get into any agreement with any deity. And I'm not going to get married because I'm not dying in 18 months. Okay? So if you know how you got into that agreement with them, you go back to that shrine and undo it. Else you will cease to be my mother and the mother of the grandchild in Princess Noma's womb. She's already pregnant? Yes. to a yellow shrine and undo what you did with my sister. Else! Ntagi karam. Ntagi vam vam vam. 24 hours. Go back to a yellow shrine and undo what you did with my sister. Makandogi. Makandogi. So you know how it feels now. Breaking news. I will not do it. Isi! Secondly, I Is have it? no intentions of paying back that debt, and you know what that means. Hey! Your sister will die, and her corpse will be deposited at that shrine forever. Madam, you know that? You mean yeah, you go. took my only daughter, gave her as collateral in that deadly shrine? You better shut up! Shut up your mouth! The same way your son here took my brother and used him for sacrifice to make money. The same money all of you are enjoying all over the place. Now let me tell you something. In six months or so, I might be in need of money. And you will be next in line to be used you as sacrifice. You will die, not- Yes! Yes! You are stupid! You and your mother are stupid! So you killed my son just to make money! Oh, silly people! Just to make money! Oh, oh shut up! up. Shut, shut up! Shut up! I said shut up! Lakamale! Vikatrina tu! Lakamale! Vikatrina tu! La Kamale! Vika Trina the property of any member of your family that you want to sacrifice in the next two days. And endless wealth and protection will be yours. Thank you, great master. I will do as you have instructed. I think the only person suitable for that sacrifice is that Mugu Afam. Agi Jida Mugu Bako Lateral. Yota is a perfect person. 
Yeah, I thought as much. Manodogu, you feel you do be my. Tinaro, now let me hear it. What is that? You don't want to tell me the reason. You want to make money so bad. Come on, you are from a royal family. No biggie. Your parents are not poor. <laughs> Besides, they can never be poor. So we in a chair kawalum. Do my na KFNMS. KFNMS. This guy. Okay, let me throw back that question to you. You, why did you join the Brotherhood? Because you're not a Brotherhood or Sisterhood, Kinos. Yeah? Okay, now, because of that. I'm going to be a judge. You know my story now. You know I can't see you. You know I came from a poor background, a poor home. Or they're all. I'm going to be a for now. I need to go mad now, touching. I need to rip it out. I need to save them from their abject poverty. My own is even different. For your own case, I alter them. So tell me, are you doing this for the fun? Because all the man that you are not doing it for the money. My one neighbor is a go. Put check it and see there now. This is not the right time. Okay, fine, fine. Since you want us to talk about it. First of all, I have major dollar billion dreams. Um, overseeing me having series of companies. Series of massive projects. How do I do that? One, my parents cannot give me one billion naira now. They can't give me one billion to invest. So the only way I can achieve that. Now, guy, there's a kind of money I want to have. One negumbute. Big money. The money that will shock people. Okay, you keep painting cars, you know, you can paint the grandmother. How do I achieve that? Is by joining the Brotherhood. Nah. Take care now. They will give you money. They will give you power. They will give you affluence. I don't need to tell you now. And this that Jeep was a mogul. You know everything now. Well, you're right. So let me go, yeah? Let me go and plan. Plan everything for the sacrifice. Mogul, I gotta go overboard. More about talent, more. Forget it. In this game of trade, in this game of trade, someone will win and someone will lose. But I never surrender. Ooh, it is game of trade, in this game of trade. Another surrender in this game of trauma. In this game of trauma. In this game of trauma. Someone will I'm begging you. Please don't remove my name from that show. I will do whatever you want me to do, please. I, beg I don't want to die. I don't want to die, please. I'm begging you. Get out from there. My <laughs> darling little Nothing sister. Will no, 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 she no, no, will no, not no, die. No. She will not die. I am sorry it is already late. Oh. I will not remove your name from that shrine. There is no point begging me. You just get up and go inside and prepare to die. So that your corpse will go and be deposited at that shrine. Please, please. Rest in peace, baby. Oh, no. Come and sit down. Come, come, come and sit down. Zundo! Rest in practice. In Zundo! It's a lie. 24 hours. Rest in she will 24 die. hours. She will die! It's a lie. She will die! She will die! die. 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 I'm begging you, please. I don't want to die now. Please, I'm begging you. Sorry. I'm your only sister again. Okay. Sorry. I don't want to... Zundo, please. Die. So Wait, die. she will die! Wait, I said she will die! You are not I will beat you! Are you 
I will beat you back. I will beat you. Don't dare not touch me again. Don't touch me. Don't touch me again. Don't touch me. Don't. I said don't. Don't touch me. 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 Don't a family you know how much I love. A family you know how much I've sacrificed to protect. You have the guts. You have the guts to tell my own son, my son, and your daughter that is carrying my grandchild, my secret. Despite the fact you know what the outcome will look like. You will have me to contend with Ngozi. You know what it is. And I am going to give it to you. You want me to allow my only child, my only daughter, to marry your already dead son? Honor, oh, that will never happen. I will never allow that. You should be the one dancing to the rhythm of my song. For trying to lure my daughter into marrying your dead son. After trying to secure your son's Oh, shut up! Shut up! Secure my son's freedom, you call it? Why you tie him up emotionally with your inability to keep secret? How dare you? You are going to hear from me. Then I will listen. Oh, I see. You better not listen. Because I will be coming. Then I will be watched. Watch carefully, fool. What brought you to the shrine of Ayuni? Wise one, I have come to know what Suzundu borrowed from this shrine. I promise to triple it. Just remove my name from the book of collateral. It is only those that borrowed from the shrine that has the power to pay back. Ayolo does not receive from who he didn't give. Wise one, are you trying to tell me that there is nothing we can do? Just remove my name from the book. Please. There is nothing you can do or give to the great Ayodhi. <coughs> rather than keeping your body fresh and sound. If you do, there is to pay his debt. I want to borrow from the shrine of Ayolo. Ayolo does not give twice to a family. It is only Izundo that has the right to continue borrowing from the family of Ife Kandi. Borrowing from the great Ayolo is easy. But why is it difficult for people to pay back, even when he never requested for interest? Let love unite us Let peace surround us Let joy reinforce us Cause destiny approves us Oh no I knew one day One family Oh yeah Oh but I ain't in there Go for one people When hate divides us Oh no Then we are wake up Wake up Oh yeah But when love unites 
stronger, stronger, stronger. Surround us oh, yeah. Is this the house? Yes. I'm sorry, I don't seem to like it. You're supposed to like the house now. Huh? They have electricity. Can't you check somewhere else, please? This is the best we can get in this village. You know, here is village now. It's not like on a Chanda Saba. Unless, I don't know, if you can wait till next month, uh, next somebody month? will pack us somewhere. Uh, no, next month is too far. Manage this place, it's good. See the Almaco. It's good. They, they have electricity. Okay, but I have to check the interior first. If one more go, pay before okay. you get The landlord is very is a strict human being. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm not a troublesome person. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it may look good at you, you know. They are not troublesome. I go never. It's complete 100k. Oh. Let love unite us. Let peace surround us It's complete It's complete So we we'll go inside yeah? Alright let's you check see. Cause destiny approves us Oh no I knew one day, one fire away. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, but I ain't in there. You go for one people. Oh, yeah. When hate divides us, oh, no. We have not seen or heard the whereabouts of your daughter and my grandchild. So tell me, where is she? I know you and your son kidnapped my daughter. But one thing I want to let you know here and now is this. By the time I will come for her, even the ground you are standing upon will be very hot for you. I see. Anyway, let me just remind you that your daughter is carrying the blood of Fife Kando. And if anything happens to my grandchild, you will see the darkest part of me. You don't have a dark side. That darkest side of yours that gave you the impetus to kidnap my only child, my only daughter, will depart you very soon. I made you. And I am going to destroy you if I fail to see my daughter. My dear friend, we shall see who made who.
Hello. She is hiding her daughter, knowing full well she is carrying my grandchild. She had the God to take away the only thing, only thing that matters to me. Oh yes, I want her burial. That is the only thing that will make her daughter surface with immediate effect. Yes. For some months now, I have not set my eyes on my only daughter. I have called all my relations and her friends, and no one seems to know her whereabouts. Initially, I was thinking when Honor and her son have something to do with her disappearance. But I am sure now they don't have any plans. So I want each of you to go in search of my daughter. Search in and out of this kingdom and bring her back. I will provide her photograph. Ekene? Yes, Your Majesty. Come with me. Let love unite us. Let peace surround us Let joy reinforce us oh, yeah. Cause destiny approves us
your condition it's not good for you what will i do I, my princess stop carrying heavy loads on your head see your condition it's not nice sorry what did you just call me now my princess who ever told you that i'm a princess i don't which a few marker is no longer news in this village I went to Abo Kingdom. I saw some guards, a palace guard, searching everywhere for you. And most of them are having your picture photograph. My princess, the problem is not how I got to know that you're a princess. But the question is, what will a princess be doing in this kind of place? Why are you, are you suffering yourself? Absence of love, love. destruction. But in the midst of love, the joy is abundant. Oh no. Isn't it high time you told the truth? Go ahead. 
tell me that you have only 18 months to live on earth? What are you talking about? What do you mean, what am I talking about? All you ever wanted was to marry me, get me pregnant and die after a few months that your mother mortgaged you in the shrine of Udido and make me a widow at this early stage of my life. What kind of a terrible man are you? Now I know better. Now I know why my mother never wanted you around me and insisted that I never get married to you. What exactly are you talking about? Oh, you are pretending not to know about it. Well, that question should be directed to your mother if you're confused. What, what have you done to my life? Listen, it is over between us. No, no, don't tell me anything. I am no longer interested in this relationship. I cannot marry a walking dead. And not even your baby in my womb will ever make me change my mind. Excuse me. No, ma. That was exactly what happened. I needed to walk away. I needed to look for a place where I would find peace and happiness. I found this place and I'm happy. I am comfortable with the environment. I know my mother and Izundu will be looking everywhere for me. But I don't care. All I want now is my happiness and I'm contented. I know she wouldn't send someone to come here. Because in truth, she doesn't have a clue of where I am right now. I don't ever want to go back to them. I want to be here. Please, Okochi. You are the only one who knows the truth. You are the only one who knows about my secrets. I beg you in the name of God Almighty, do not ever tell it to anyone else. Let it be our little secret, please. My princess, I will keep it as a secret. Thank you. Um, what of the kids and the, the teaching? Oh, I am very happy. Oh. They are very brilliant. They are learning so fast. Oh, thank God. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> uh, I made food. I don't know if you're hungry. And I do. Thank you. Okay, don't worry. Let me serve you. Mm. I have to warm it for you. It's very cold. Just give me five minutes. My two says, I want money. I want. I want to be like that. <laughs> you are so funny. <laughs> I can say that. Thank again. you. Meanwhile, okay. could you please help me carry this? No, man, you can put them there. We have studied a lot lately, so today I'm going to ask you a series of questions about what I taught you. I do not want to be disappointed. Okay, fine. Today, we have English language. Parts of speech. Okay. So what are the parts of speech? Oh 
Hold on. Hmm. Who can tell me what a noun is? Person, animal, place, or thing. Very good. Clap for her. So, what is a pronoun? A pronoun is a word used instead of a noun. Very good. Clap for him. Um, what is a verb? Very good. Clap for yourself. You are doing amazingly great. Um, okay, fine. I'm glad that you have everything we've thought. So we're going to make sentences with these words I'm going to write out now. Just be ready. Each and every one of you will make a sentence with what I'm going to write now. So have your own specially. Okay. Who can make sentence with a woman? Very good, clap for him. Sit down. <laughs> Please, I want to use this vegetable to say thank you for what you've been doing for the children of this kingdom, especially my younger ones. You're truly impacting knowledge and morals in them. May God bless you and guide you and the baby in your womb whenever you deliver. Amen. My God will bless you too. Amen. Thank you so much for remembering me. Thank you so much. You don't know what this vegetable will do for me. Thank you. Don't worry, I'll get you some more when I go to my mother's home. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I appreciate it. <laughs> okay. Let me help you. Thank you. Onne. Oh, it's Thank you. Okay. Thank you.
You are the one that impregnated the river goddess without taking her virginity. You are the unscusable leaves. You are the Hiroko tree that cannot be pulled down by the wind. <laughs> the man who has no bone. But when it is time for action, a woman cannot defeat it. Hey! Follow oh, goes here. I want to have one of them one. I want to have one of them one. I want to have one of them one. Stretch forth your hands. Agondo, I know you have never disappointed me. I will not. I know you have done it. <laughs> you have. Mm. Mm. Madam. What is one? You shall lead her to the road in the middle of the night. Yes, what is one? And she shall drop it right at the middle of the road. Yes, what is one? After that, her name shall be taken off from the debtors list of Ayuro. You say Debt of any kind will never come your way. You say Thank you, wise one. I will make sure she handles the basket properly and do as you said. And we will in turn come and say a big thank you to you for your job well done. Thank you, wise one. Mm. Go and do as I have instructed you. Hey! They say when a bird perches upon a rope, it dances on sugar there. It dances on sugar there. <laughs> Which is the dance of the spirit.
priest has made it clear that your brother will succeed your father. You should be happy. You and I know that your brother will only last for a few months. And he will leave the throne for the right person, which is you. So I suggest you play nice, play cool, so that your brother could pay the price he's owing at Ayolo Shrine, and your sister can be saved. On the butu, the last. And remember, persuasion. Persuasion is always more effective than force. So when the banyo. Elders of Abadana Kingdom. Obunu Managa Kala Adige. about all these scuffles and stuff we we had in the past and I said to myself it is not necessary for any reason we as one blood we need to join hands together and bury my beloved mother the queen who just left us I can't wait for you to be crowned the king of Abagana. Please, take me back as your brother. Let's move this kingdom forward.
So I have decided to pay back the money I borrowed at Ayola Shrine in your sister's name after thinking about it. Tell me you're lying. I'm serious about this. I mean, I don't want anything to happen to the peace, the undiluted peace we have enjoyed in this palace so far. Wow. And I do not want any more tears around here. Seriously, you're really shocked right there. Are you for real? You see, like you said, we are not so many souls in this world. Exactly. And to be a thing of disgrace, we lose a lot. We've come to this conclusion. You know what? Let me go and inform my sister of the good news. Yeah, you should. You should. <laughs> I know she will be pleased. All right. I will teach you that you are the child in this game of thrones. You use my brother for money ritual so you can make money to take over the throne? And you think I'll spare your family? I will eliminate every single member of your family. I bring you good tidings abiding. I was gone, but now I returned. There will never be a royal subjugation There will never be a royal surrender in this game of throne In this game of throne Someone will win And someone will lose But I'll never surrender Ooh, it is game of throne In this game of throne Never be Another surrender in this game of throne. In this game of throne. In this game. I the powers confirm me as the traditional prime minister of this great kingdom. I hereby crown you the king of Abagana Kingdom. Amen, Gigwe. Neke. Oh, yeah. Afo. What happened to him? Okay. Be by his side. I will soon be back. Go. Now go. go. Take care of him. I will. I will. Take care of him. I will soon be back. Okay? Oh, yeah, you would turn 
I'm sure you're wondering why I brought y'all here blindfolded. It is because I want you all to test blindness. If you refuse to crown me, the king of Abagana! Please don't. In one second. Please. I don't want to go blind. But please, I don't want to lose my life. I don't want to die. I will crown you the king of Abagana kingdom in one minute now. Muggle. Ndiala. Ndiala. Muggles. Ben, what are we waiting for? Ben. Let the coronation begin. By the powers conferred on me as the traditional prime minister of this great kingdom, Abagana, I hereby crown you the king of Abagana kingdom. Amen, Geze. Neke. Oye. Afo. Nkwo. Yalla! Yalla! Moguls! Come on, Chema. Now, what do you have to say to the king? Igwe! Bow down for the king! Igwe!
I'm gonna give him a Z now, man. Give him a Z all in. I'm not that mugger. Hey! You go ahead. Yeah, we'll go. <laughs> so now you have been crowned the king of Abagana Kingdom. What's my fate? You know, it's a gradual process. Uh, I will have that unfolded. So do not worry. Okay. I believe you. So, to start with that, I will, you know, get everyone involved. My king, the throne of our bargain is missing. What? Just regain consciousness. Hey, hey, 
Thank God. Okay. You need to have some rest. Eh. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You lost consciousness. Immediately you were crowned the king of Abagana Kingdom. And we rushed you here for treatment. Dead. Yes, she was killed by unknown gunmen and Prince Uchechi is now the king of Abagana Kingdom. She killed my mother. my mother's death even if it means the last thing I do on earth I will avenge mom's death the the throne of Abagana is missing what do you mean by that it means there is no throne to ascend on Uchechi killed my mother and stole my throne. I will avenge my mother's death and take back my crown, even if it takes the last drop of blood in me. Mark my words. I know you want to avenge your mother's death, but there are some people I want you to meet. Which people? Special people. I want you to meet. Mama, you okay? Yes. Look at her, baby. Yeah. Mrs. Zundo. This your family has witnessed many deaths within this short period of time. And many more people may still die if nothing is done to, uh, to stop these deaths. I, I don't think this is the type of thing you want for this family as the first son of your father, the king. Is it? Certainly not. Let me advise you, Prince. If the throne is the only thing your brother wants, let him have the throne. I assure you, the mighty God that I serve will bless and reward you with something greater and bigger than the throne. We have a lot of prayers to make in this, for this family. Your younger sister is under the bondage of Uyolo. And we, we must break this bondage and the jinx. We have to start prayers. We have a lot of prayers to make. The God that I serve has all powers. In Psalm 66 verse 7, the Bible says, He ruled by His powers forever. All powers belong to Jesus. So we shall make a lot of prayers. And the mighty God that I serve shall liberate this family from every bondage of the wicked. 
and break every jinx. We will be stronger, stronger, stronger. Boss, I came to ask or rather know the reason for the sudden change in our plans, whereby you return the throne after all the pains we've been through, all we've suffered, all the Shut strength. up! Whatever decision I took is the best for you, for Liquid, and for everybody. My friend is into his back. And I want peace. I don't want to fight anymore. I don't want war. I don't want trouble. So whatever I told you guys to do is for our own good. That throne belongs to Abagna Kingdom. And not ours. I will advise you to listen more before you talk. So I would advise you to listen, because when men talk, boys don't talk. Go back to your potatoes immediately. I How come the, the throne suddenly reappears after its disappearance? I don't know. Amen. Praise the Lord. Whatever the enemy or any deity has stolen from this house, from this family, God started restoring and it all shall be restored in the name of Jesus. Amen. We have prayed and God has answered. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We serve a God of restoration. Whatever the enemy or the evil ones or any deity has stolen from this family has started being restored and all shall be restored. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, I give you all the glory. Thank you, Father. Kuchichi, I, I want to tell you that I am no longer interested in being king. You can go ahead and have the throne, have the crown, become king. It's still in the family. All I want is peace of mind. I don't want all this rancor. I don't want all this, all this fighting and squabbling everywhere. I just want us to be happy. Live in peace, love, and harmony, just like we used to when we were kids. Okay? I'll support you all the way.
I'm sorry. I'm sorry for for all the problems I have cost you or any member of my family. Forgive me. You're a kind man. I know you make a good king to our people. Please, forgive me. Given to you honestly, I come. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for the restoration. Lord, you are faithful. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And mighty God. Not in love. 